الحمد لله نستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله ارسله بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا بين يديه ساع ميت الا الله ورسوله فقد رشد ومن يعص الله ورسوله فانه لا يضر الا نفسه ولا يضر الله شيئا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد عبدك ورسولك وصل على المؤمنين والمؤمنات وبارك على محمد وزواجه وذريته وقال الله تعالى في القرآن المجيد إن الله الذي فضل على الناس ولكن أكثر الناس لا يشكرون وقال الله تعالى في القرآن المجيد وأما بنعمة ربك فحدد وقال الله تعالى وإن تعدوا نعمة الله لا تحسوها صدق الله لذين وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من لم يشكر الناس لم يشكر الله أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام <تصفيق> Respected listeners We just went through the weekend of Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving brings the best out of America. It brings the best out of all of us but for being believers and we should remind this to our children also this Thanksgiving comes with an ethical responsibility. of living a life as adults especially our children when they grow up to live a life of shukr of thanking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not to be in carelessness and heedlessness because the giver of the bounties sheikh sadi rahmatullah alayhi says gratitude is not remembering the bounties and the blessings but gratitude is remembering the giver of the bounties and the blessings Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give Allah has been given to us and Allah will give it to us until we die the question is how much do we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there are many many blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which are absent, which we do not see, but they're still there. And we need to think and reflect and ponder that how, do, how much do we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just living all of us, including our loved ones, living a life without a constant pain and struggle is itself a great blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Living a life without body imbalances and environment is a great blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which you do not think and ponder about it and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala living a life without disorder and chaos is a blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala living a life without which could, which could be worse all of us going through tests and tribulations but it could be worse so ibn abdullah ibn abbas radiyallahu anhu says just we living a life of trials and tribulations which could be worse than what we are living is itself a great blessing of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we need to let our children know this so how merciful and giving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is if we keep taking the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the giver and we don't remember the giver then it is not good Allah says in the Quran وَقَلِيلُ مِنِ بَابِ يَشْكُو very few of my servants are grateful to me may Allah make us among the select few respected listeners Allah says in Allah ladhu fadhin ala nas indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed immense blessings on the entire human beings walakin akthar nas la yashkurun but unfortunately for for me and all of us myself first i'm very ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the blessings he has given us 
given me and all of us. Allah openly challenges the most advanced technology of the time. Allah says, وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا If you start counting the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, start numbering them, you will not be able to count the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will not be able to count the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If I just look at the blessings of the eyes which Allah has given me, the millions of colors I can perceive, I can differentiate, the distance I can see, the vision I have, the blinking of the eye, the twinkling of the eye, what if Allah stops the twinkling of my eye? What if the water stops coming from the eye? What if my eyes become dry? What if I cannot close my eyes when I go to sleep? How many blessings can I count of just of my eyes? And Allah says, you will not be able to count. Bring out the most powerful, powerful computer on the face of the earth and start counting the blessings of Allah. You will not be able to count them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Oh Allah, how much can I thank you? No matter how much I thank you, it is not enough for you to be deserving to be thanked, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is why Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us a beautiful dua. Rasulullah said, whoever says these words in the morning has thanked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until the evening time. Allahumma ma asbah bi bin ni'matin aw bi ahdin min khalqik fa minta wahdak la sharika lak fa laka alhamd wa laka shukr. Oh Allah, all the good things that are coming to me this morning and to the entire creation are from you and you alone. There is no partner to you, therefore all praises and thanks be to you, O oh Allah. Subhanallah. All the good things that are coming to me and to the entire creation this morning, O oh Allah, are from you and you alone. There is no partner to you. Therefore, all praises and thanks be to you. Rasulullah said, whoever says these words, he or she has thanked Allah Azzawajal until the evening time. And when the evening time just changed over from Allah ma asbahbi to Allah ma amsabi. Oh Allah, all the good things that are coming to me and to the entire creation this evening are from you and you alone. There is no partner to you. Therefore, all praises and thanks be to you, O oh Allah. Every night when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would go to sleep, he would say these amazing words. He would say, Subhanallah wa bihamdi. All praises and glory be to you, O Allah. How much? How much, Ya Rasulullah? Zinat arshi wa midada kalimati wa adada khalfi wa rida nafsi. As much as the weight of your throne, O Allah. As much as the ink can write, O Allah. Convert all the oceans into ink. The biggest ocean of them all, Pacific Ocean, our next uh, close by to us, and start making the ink and start writing the praises of Allah. Take the Atlantic Ocean, take the Indian Ocean, take the, take the remaining oceans. Start writing the praises of Allah. Allah challenges you will not be able to complete finishing the praises of Allah. No one can praise Allah as Rasulullah would praise and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he taught us that. Before you would go to sleep, you would say the you would say the words, Allahumma lak alhamdu maliyan, in the tarafati kulli aynin, wa tanafusi nafsin. Oh Allah, all thanks be to you, O Allah. As much as every twinkling of the eye, Allah. From the creation of the time, from the creation of the universe, until the end of the time, I thank you for every blinking of the eye and every breathing that a person, that, that, that a creation can breathe. Allah swears by the morning as it breathes in the Quran. The creation that breathes, the, the humans that breathe, the jinns that breathe, the animals that breathe, the, 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 the life under the ocean that breathes. So Rasulullah saying, oh Allah, I thank you for every blink of the eye and every breath that is taken, oh Allah. That is why Prophet said, the degree of a person, the degree of the status and status of a person who takes a morsel or who eats and who eats and thanks Allah 
is the same degree and status as a person who fasts for the sake of Allah. Imagine you said you eat the food and say, Alhamdulillah, Allah is writing a reward for you as if you fasted the entire day. Allah is giving us the reward for filling our appetites, our hunger, just for praising Him and thanking Him. Rasulullah said the degree of a person, the status of a person who eats and thanks Allah is the same degree and status of a person who fasts for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said when a person eats a morsel of food and drinks few sips of water and thanks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with the person. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is pleased with the person. One time, said Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala who comes to the Masjid al-Nabawi. Nobody is inside the Masjid al-Nabawi except him. Then walks into the Umar bin al-Khattab radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. And he says, Ya Abba Bakr, what has brought you into the masjid at this time? So Abu Bakr said, hunger has brought me out. So the Umar radiyallahu ta'ala says, this is the same reason it's brought me out too. In few, in a short time, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa walks in, into the masjid. He says, what are you two doing here at this time? They say, Ya Rasulullah, the pangs of hunger has brought us out. Rasulullah says, the same thing has brought me out too. Three of them, Rasulullah says, let's go to Abu Ayyub Abu Ayyub Ansari's house. They go knock on the door. The wife opens the door. She's very pleased to see the presence of Rasulullah at her door. She says, Ya Rasulullah, please come on in. My husband Abu Ayyub will be back very shortly. And while she's talking, Rasulullah, a bunch of dates. Puts it in front of Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya Rasulullah, eat. Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa looks at the right dates, unripe dates. You have a choice. Pick whatever you from these days and choose and eat, Ya Rasulullah. Then he goes, slaughters a small goat he has, roasts some of the meat, cooks some of the meat, brings it in, puts it in front of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companions. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam picks up a piece of roasted meat, picks up a loaf of bread, says to Abu Ayyub Ansari, go give it to my daughter Fatima, she hasn't eaten food like this for days together. Then tears roll down from the eyes of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he says, what blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask about these bounties on the day of judgment. The companion said, O Prophet of Allah, sometimes you don't even have half the bread of barley to fill up our appetite in the entire day. Allah is going to ask about these bounties. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam recited the surah from the Quran. And he came to the end of the surah. And on that day, Allah will ask you about every bounty you have. The Sahaba said, Oh Prophet of Allah, what bounties do we have, O oh, Prophet of Allah? Allah revealed the Prophet وسلم, don't have cold, don't, don't they have cold water to drink? Don't they have shoes to put on? Don't don't they have roof about their about their about the, about their heads? These are all a believer is in a win-win situation. With these trials and tribulations, Allah is forgiving our sins. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, every, every trial and tribulation is an atonement of sins for a believer. Is the forgiveness of sins for the believer. Allah raises the ranks of the believers with every trial and tribulation that comes his way or her way. The only reason is we need to be, we need to be cognizant, to be conscious, to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the pious people we know, he, he passed away recently. He was having high fever. Extremely high fever. He was in his last, probably a day or two of his death. We asked him, how are you doing? He said, Alhamdulillah, I can still see. I can still move my hands. I can still talk. But I have high fever. Please make dua that my fever goes away. But he how bad we do, O Allah. For the evening we do, Allah, do not take away good things from us, O oh Allah, do not grudge us, O oh Allah, do not grudge us. Allahumma la ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَأَمَّا بِنِعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ فَحَدِّثْ Proclaim, announce, proclaim, say, all the good things, blessings, Allah is blessing you in this life. There will be ease. There will be ease. Allah says twice, there will be ease after every difficulty. 
But the key is to be thankful to Allah respect to Sitting, standing, lying down, reclining. This is a weapon against shaitan. Shaitan vowed to Allah, I will make majority of them ungrateful to you, Allah. I will come to them from the right, from the left, from the front, from the back. I will make the majority of them grateful. What do we do to counter the weapon of shaitan? We thank Allah as much as we can. May Allah guide me. May Allah guide us all. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulhi al-kareem amma ba'd. Respected listeners, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the beautiful life. If possible, try to pray two rakat salatu shukr every day. Outside the makruh times, any time outside the makruh times. Two rakat salatu shukr, Allahu Akbar, where we submit our entire body from every cell and artery and fiber of our body to the submission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh, Allah did not deserve all these good things, oh Allah. There are other people who deserve this to be, and will have this blessing, oh Allah. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to pray to rakat to shukr every day if possible. Imagine you pray to rakat salat to shukr. You submit your entire body in the morning to Allah, thanking Allah. Imagine how clean starting your day with Turaqat Salatu Shukr, respected listeners. La in shakartum la azidannakum. I will most definitely increase your bounties, Allah says in the Quran. Today we say we thank Allah for, for promotion at work, increase in salaries, right? Birth of children. But when, when we thank my Zohar on time, that is what Allah how it, that is how Allah will increase us in our bounties. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if not, if, if it is hard to pray to Raka Salat al Shukr, at least two sajdas every day. Oh Allah, thank you for all the blessings you have given me. I'm not worthy and deserving of these blessings, oh Allah. They are much better. Thank you very much.